This is the Bond Arms Stinger RS. This one's a 22 long rifle. It is a conventional top brake Derringer, a lot like the old model 95 Remington. But you have a latch on one side, on the left side, push it down. Barrel tips up, load your two rounds. And you have a manual ejector that extracts the cases. Pop it back down, load your rounds. And ready to go. The gun is single action. Has a rebounding hammer to it. And the trigger pull isn't too bad. It's about three and a half pounds on my Lyman scale. But given this is the 22, you definitely don't want to dry fire those too much. Uh, this is much thinner than most Bond Arms offerings, even though it is all stainless steel, weighing about 18 ounces, fully loaded. And it does have a true integral trigger guard that you can't take off. It's not like a traditional spur trigger, which is just the trigger coming out like so. This one actually has a true trigger guard. And you have a pair of sights. You just have a front sight. At the front, just a little blade. And in the back, you just have the hinge to work with, which works surprisingly well. So anyway, let's go ahead and shoot a little more. All right, we have the bond arm stinger loaded up with two rounds of CCI mini mag. We're at seven yards, so I have a clean target. We'll go ahead and give it a go. Reload. definitely more of a two-shot fire-and-forget kind of proposition. Give it two more rounds. Have a closer look. Got some explaining to do. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, and six. All in about an inch and a half at seven yards. It's very good accuracy for a little pocket gun. But I want to point out something here. Uh, generally, these double barrel derringers and double rifles, etc., the barrels shoot to different points of aim, especially the cheaper you go. Well, I tested the top barrel and the bottom barrel separately. Here's my aiming point for the top barrel, same ammunition, very fair group. At the bottom, my aiming point was here, and the bottom group, still good, but a little bit low and left. But as you can see, all things considered, all put together, not a bad little group. All right, I have the Bond Arms Stinger RS loaded up with two rounds of CCI mini mag, 40 grain round nose lead. I have our steel torso at 25 yards. Let's see if I can get him, if I'm lucky. Yep. As you can tell from the change in the tire, I had a few range sessions with the Stinger RS with about 300 rounds downrange so far. The only issue I had was with the crossbolt safety that comes on the pistol, and I tended to bump the safety uh, to the safe position when shooting because the crossbolt safety it goes one way for safe and one way for fire. Luckily, Bond Arms has an Allen key screw near the hinge so you can tighten the safety down whether you want it to be fixed on safe or on fire. With that said, the Stinger RS might not be the best choice for personal protection, but there are a few applications where 
this little stainless steel double barrel can play a role as a generally handy tool. Anyway, that's all I have to say for that. Thank you for watching.